It's the Godzilla and Friends show! Yay! So, future Ghidorah, uh, what's the uh, progress on bringing my son back to life? Unfortunately, not much. You see, it's difficult to distinguish between cells of different organs, so trying to recreate a each organ for Godzilla has been, uh, tasking. Okay, I have no idea what you just said, but that sounds like a lot of work. Indeed! In fact, it's even more difficult now that Mecha Godzilla has been, well, damaged. We're not even sure if we can fix him. What, what do you mean? Is he gonna die? What? Oh, <laughs> of course not. He's just paralyzed. But, but he's a robot. How come it's so difficult to fix him? Great, Scott. He was built so long ago that we can't find replacement parts. Mothra has had to use scraps just to make those new parts. But, yeah, it, it seems like it's going to take a lot more work just to bring him back to life. Well, uh, you keep at it. I'll, uh, I'll check on you later today. <sighs> Man. Being dead sucks. I can't do anything. I could just watch everyone. And I'm not trying possession again, that's for sure. Hey, Rodan. How's it going? Oh, uh, nothing much. Now's my chance. You know, just standing here talking to you. Uh, Rodan, you, uh, feel okay? Ash, it's me. Ah, a deadite! Ah. Oh, that didn't work. Get out of my friend, you deadite! Ow! Ow! Why are you keep punching me? Why do I feel so cold? Whoops. That was terrible. Hello, Godzilla. What? Who the heck are you? I've been looking for you for quite some time. M Mothra? But wait a minute. M what the heck is going on here? Is this some form of like astral projection or something? All will be explained in time. Quickly. We don't have much time to explain everything. Uh, okay then. Ah, here we are. Skull Island. Very little distractions. Now I can explain everything to you. Good, because uh, I'm very confused about what's going on here. Okay, Godzilla. It is very important that you listen to me. We only have one day to explain everything. And there is a lot of explaining to do. Okay, so explain away. Right. I won't be able to explain everything, but I will explain everything that involves you, your father, and Mothra. W wait my father? What was he have to do with this? All of this will be explained in time. Now then, I must start at the beginning. When the Earth was just being created, we, the Divine Moths, came into existence. We have no memory of before, and we have no memory of after. Well, wait, what do you mean after? Well, to be completely honest, we have no idea who created us or why. All we know is that we were designed to protect the Earth at all costs. Okay, but how would you do that? Well, it's kind of complicated. We basically do something small, which will lead to something big. Oh, like the butterfly effect. Yes, but instead of something bad happening, it's something good happens. So, the, uh, moth effect. So, why me? Why my dad? Well, you see, there's many things I must explain to you, but we're at little time. So I must say that you and your father were the biggest things that we changed to protect Earth. Okay, uh, no more questions. Uh, please continue. Of course, now, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. You see, the entity you know as Mothra, well, she was one of us. Only she was special. She can see into the very future itself. And what she saw was disturbing. Humans nuked the world to death. 
Ouch. Well, what'd you do to stop it? Oh, that's very simple. We created your father in order to be deterrent so that humans could understand the dangers of using nuclear weapons, but we didn't expect them to use the oxygen destroyer. And a new future occurred. What, what happened? Destroyer happened. You see, your father was made to die. But we didn't expect him to regenerate. But even then, before Destroyer even showed up, Ghidorah's invaded Earth. Destroyer was the thing that doomed Earth. But wait, how'd he do that? Well, his body was... It was made by a collection of cells, all collective, like some sort of hive mind. And they took over Earth by swallowing it whole and turning Earth into Destroya. So, I was made to save the Earth? Well, yes, but, but there was a catch. In order for you to save Earth, you had to be controlled somehow. And since you're your father's son, it was very difficult to figure out a way to, to do so, but... Because you were created by the Divine Moths, only our powder affects you. So that explains my allergies. Yes, but there's a catch to that too. In order for our plan to work, one of us had to sacrifice our divinity to become with, you know, the mortals. Wait, are you saying that... Yes, Mothra gave up her own immortality so that you may save Earth and all of humanity. It was not an easy choice. In fact, we didn't even know she made it until after she made it. Wow. Mothra sacrificed that much? But, but how come she never mentioned this? Well, as a result of this, she was unable to remember her former life. In fact, her powers were even nerfed. So, what does this have to do with me and, and what's going on? Well, as a result of Mothra leaving, we can no longer see the future. And I bet you're aware that Destroya is still alive. Yeah, and? Well, we fear that Destroya may win without you. Wait, so you think that if I'm not alive, then Destroya will destroy the world? Not destroy. Consume. Change. Destroy is a cancer upon our world. If he is not stopped, then he will absorb every planet, every galaxy, until anything in the universe is just Destroya. Th then what are we waiting for? Bring me back to life. Patience, Godzilla. We can only bring you back once the full moon has risen at midnight. Well, wait, why midnight? And why full moon? That is when our power is the most strongest. And besides, we still have one more thing to discuss. Well, what is it? Well, as you know, your fire form has a chance of killing you. So in order to compensate, we are giving you a new form. A, a new form? Yes, a form of the very earth that you swore to protect, or at least were made to protect. That way, if Destroya does challenge you, you'll be ready. Now then, I must prepare your father to bury your body, so that you can come back later tonight. Uh, what will I do now? Tonight I live and die. And I'm waking up. I suddenly know what to do. Wings. Tonight Future Ghidorah! Future Ghidorah! What? What? We What's going on? Young and I know how to bring Godzilla back. Great Scott, spit it out! All we have to do is bury him tonight at a full moon. Great Scott! Were you on those magic websites again? I told you those will give you malware. 
No, Ghidorah. Light it's like a gut feeling or something. But trust me, we had to try this. Please. Into the okay, but if we do this and it fails, then I'm unable to bring your son back my way. I I understand. Just just please do this for me. Okay. Uh, Godzillas are so weird. So, uh, is something supposed to happen, or... Uh, oh, Tonight wait, I'm floating. I'm floating. Is this supposed to be happening? Hello? Divine Moths? Hello? Goodbye, fears. Godzilla. Save Tonight our world from destruction. Hey, you idiots, you forgot to explain we what's going on! Am I passing on? I'm scared! Well, if there's one thing to say about Godzilla, is they, uh, they aren't very smart. Hey, I heard that and wait. Am I going to Monster Island? I guess it did work. Feel it to my soul. Fall into the dark. Fall into the dark. I was the king, but under control. I was the king tonight, let it go. Let me feel I live and die. My soul burns a spark in the dark.